Styles coming at you live. <laughs> well, this look, it's actually fantabulous. It's very different. It's very unique. It um, is very editorial and artsy. And I think I really love that part. The fact that it's artsy. It made me step out of the comfort zone. This makeup look will make you step out of your comfort zone. That's for sure. And great things happen when you're out of your comfort zone. So that's your tip of the day. Uh, Jules, I got them from Hobby Lobby. You know, with that 40% discount, your girl got it for like $3.99 and it's like $5.99. So I use a lot of my old products that you have seen before and some new products that you haven't seen before. I'm trying to be more consistent for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know what your thoughts are. Let's get into this video. Do not forget to comment, subscribe, and follow your girl on Instagram too as well. And oh my god, how could I forget about this part? I don't have any bra products on. Um, and I usually like looks when I, whenever I don't have to do my brows. It's n more natural. It's not as snatched as it could be. That it's like effortless. But yeah guys, let's get into this video. I'm more so inspired by, um... Desi Perkins. Yeah, I'm just a little bit more inspired by her Desi Perkins look. So I'll go ahead and do hers. I'm gonna take the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. I'm gonna go ahead and take Caramelize. Take Caramelize, and that's just gonna be my crease color. And then I'm gonna place it right there. And then I'm gonna bring it more up into the brow. It's contouring my eyelid. And so I'm dragging the colors out down here. And I'm blending, focusing on the crease. I don't want the edges to be too sharp, so I'm just kind of like rounding it out a little bit. I'm going for a soft look here, I'm not going for something super harsh and dramatic. I'm gonna add puree from um, the palette. Just like right here a little bit, let me see. Chilled by promotion and round it off. We're just connecting the bottom to that middle. I'm going to be taking Hourglass's Scattered Light in the Shadow Ray. It's a glitter. I'm going to take my finger. How gorgeous. In a trio, the hourglass stacked or scattered light glitter. I'm gonna take the other shadow, it's called foil, and I'm gonna put it like towards the end. This is more goldy. Don't wear. But you know what? Actually, I'm gorgeous, gorgeous, darling. And then I'm gonna place it over that um goal that we did. Ooh, super gorge. This one I'm noticing you have to kind of grab a lot of it for it to pop out the way you want it to pop out. I'm gonna go back into Too Faced. I'm gonna take Caramelized once again and then I'm just gonna go ahead and like make sure I didn't lose some of that because I feel like I did. Where the you can't see where my shadows begin or end. It's like blended really seamlessly. Now I'm gonna go find the other eye that I'm looking for. So I'm gonna take this look now. I guess this is the look I was going for in the beginning, but kind of not really. I'm gonna take Love Letter from the Modern Renaissance palette. Y'all know how that be. It's so ugly now. On a brush like this, angled brush, it's from Morphe. It's M2. One seven. I'm just gonna make a pink wing. I take Love Letter with a different, smaller, dense packed brush. 
because in the picture it doesn't look like it's super thick, super dark. I mean, you know there's a purple line there, but it's not like super intense. It's like... And if it looks like hers, it looks like hers. If it doesn't, I'm still not going to go and kill myself. Here I'm just lining the base of my lashes and connecting the wing. I'm not going to cover this area up. I'm just going to connect it, make a little wing. Wondering what I did, I just went ahead and finished. Add like more pink into the crease, just a little bit, not too far. So now I think guys, we're ready to go onto the skin. Uh, for my hair, I just put it back up. So after I put this foundation on, I'm gonna go ahead and then put the crystals on. I totally forgot I was doing crystals. I don't know if y'all watched my video, my summer matte video, and I was like, oh my God, I hate this beauty blender. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it did take some breaking in. I'm not gonna lie that this, what are y'all favorite um, foundation right now? I'm definitely gonna go back to my NARS as soon as this one runs out. Like, I love NARS, like, nothing beats NARS. I don't care who or what you say. The crystals that I'm working with today, Vosky, I hope I'm saying it on a Vosky. I feel like I'm not saying it right. But, oh my God, so I feel like I'm dumb. But yeah, it, it's 50 pieces. It doesn't look like it's 50 pieces. Are they sure? How is this 50? 50 wear. It looks like 25. But anyway, I got this from Hobby Lobby. And now I'm gonna go ahead and apply this bad boy. I'm excited. Are y'all excited? Take the lash glue I'm using Duo. Put it on the surface. So I'm going to be taking um, my good old trusty, whatchamacallit, matchstick and truffle. I definitely think the rhinestones are confusing the little autofocus button on my camera because it likes to like take me out of frame like don't be doing that I didn't ask you to do all that yeah I just wanted to say that bye bye this is like a true contour shade not like my bronzing shade, because I, <laughs> I will definitely bronze. I'm just setting the little cream contour we did earlier. I'm just gonna smush the brush. We're gonna go with Hourglass, and um, we're gonna use it as my baking powder. Now I'm just going to wipe off the excess dusting powder. I'm going to put the lashes on and I'll be right back um, and then I'm going to finish the bottom of the eye. Mel London um, Cream Liner. It's, a, it's in the colors 005 Nude. I don't know if they still sell these anymore. And of course it falls to the ground. I'm just going to line my line. Line my waterline with this. I'm going to take my Sigma brush, go back into Caramelize, and then just line my lash line. My bottom lash line, it's not too like a dramatic, it's like a light wash of pink. Okay, so we're going to put one at the base of the wing. I hate this part. I hate when it doesn't stick because it's so gluey. I mean, stick baby girl stick. Ooh. This is gorgeous. I would wear this out. 
I'm gonna take ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade Good and Pretty. I'm gonna take Max Honey Love, it looks like this. I'm gonna take a First Kiss by Huda Beauty. Max Below Freezing. 